Brad Bathgate is the author of Four Books of Poetry for Sale. Yo, um, Inbox him for more information. On, uh, on uh, Facebook, talking about how cheese wasn't good for you, like uh, cows drink cow milk, and Paula drinking pollen milk. You know, dogs drink dog milk, humans drink cow milk. And they're saying that milk is no good for you, and it's true. To a certain extent, I mean, after a certain age, I don't think you should drink milk. And think about it. No animal with teeth drinks milk. Because once you start growing teeth, once the animal starts growing teeth, the mother kicks you off the nipple. And that she feels like you're ready for solid food. Once you, because the teeth, and plus the teeth, irrit, like I said, the teeth irritate the nipple. And that's a sign that it's time for you to start, start eating solid food. Humans are the only mammals, adult mammals, that drink milk. And if milk is so good for you, why, if you leave a bottle in a baby's mouth, the milk will rot their teeth. So all that milk builds strong bones and shit like that. How cows get strong bones? Cows eat vegetables. And then people went on to say, well, they do it in Africa. Just because they do it in Africa don't mean it's good for you. <laughs> Everything natural is not good for you. Poison ivory is natural. Would you eat poison ivory? Just because it's natural don't mean it's good for you. Shit, doodle is natural. Would you eat doodle? So I'm saying just because it's natural is good for you. Like, it's not good for you. That's why. I just think it's not good for you. It plus, it puts a lot of flim in your foot. That's why you be seeing guys still on the corner spitting all day. Spitting, you go in the corner, all this fucking spit on the corner. That's from drinking milk and eating cheese. It puts a lot of flim in your throat and it holds, like, if you got a cold, it's not good because it prolongs the cold. It prolongs you getting rid of the cold because it puts a lot of flim and mucus in your throat. That's why guys standing around spitting all day. Yep. All right, y'all, what I was talking about today? I don't know. Oh. I saw this dude trying to tell people how to keep their guard up. And he, he was right to a certain extent, but he had this hand closed and he had it in his face. If a guy got his hand in his face like this, all you gotta do is hit his hand and he'll punch himself in the face all day. You don't put it like that and you don't close it. I keep telling you, you got guys teaching boxing and they never boxed before. You keep this hand like that and this hand like that. And you keep this hand open and it's relaxed. And you keep it right here, right by your eye, like that. That way if the guy hit you, he hits the glove. Then when you fight, then when you're about to punch the guy, that's when you close it, like that. And it's back open. That way you stay relaxed. And one hand is in front of the other, and one foot is in front of the other. And like I said, when I used to go to Larry Holmes' gym, he used to put the left glove on first, and he would work with the left glove for one or two rounds. I'm getting the ring in the middle.